What's up everybody, Jared back with you with Cold West Fishing. We're back at it again. I just first off wanna apologize for not uploading a video in a while, but we're back at it. It's been real cold, the fish have been not biting, so we haven't been catching that many fish. But today we're at an Anchorage Lake and hopefully we can catch some rainbow trout and some arctic char. If we do, we're gonna go home and do another catch and cook. I have a surprise recipe for you guys, so stay tuned. using this because I'm going to be fishing somewhere over there but hopefully while I'm fishing over there something comes and takes this shrimp so stay tuned. First fish of the day guys a nice little rainbow trout. dinner. Wow. Look at this char. Look at this char. Look at that char, guys. Look at it. Oh my gosh. I wasn't even the jaw jacker, guys. I just dropped back down in here and he was ready to feed. I'm going to let him go because I don't want him to be too hurt let's see if he goes away oh and he's gone <laughs> yes yes got him that time Nice rainbow. Nice rainbow. Nice rainbow. Let's go. We have enough for a catch and cook. Woo! Nice rainbow. All right, we're going to switch it up for a second. This wasn't producing. It's just a little jig tipped with the uh, shrimp. So now what we're going to do is we're going to try a special bait that I have. Gotcha. Jack King. Look at that, Jack King. We're doing all right today, fellas. We got five fish, three different species. 
and we're definitely gonna eat him. All right, guys, so we're off the ice. We managed to get six fish. The jawjacker put in absolute work today. I don't think I caught any just jigging, so the jawjacker did most of the work. So now what I'm going to show you how to do is prepare the fish, and then I'm going to show you how to cook the fish. We're going to be cooking the fish today with some bok choy, and it's going to be delicious. So stay tuned. All right, so the first thing that I like to do when uh, getting my fish prepared is I like to rinse my fish off really well. So I'll cut the water on. I'll choose a fish. And I'll get as much slime off of it as possible. Once I get as much slime off as possible, I take my knife and I scale the fish. So let me cut some more water on. I take as many scales off as I possibly can. Taking the scales off also takes the slime off, which in my opinion, taking the scales off and taking the slime off makes the skin a lot crispier. So it takes some time, but you're just gonna run that blade all over the fish, over the top, and just continue to rinse the scales off. And over the sides, and under the belly. Now once I finish uh, scaling these fish and rinsing these fish off, I'll get right back to you. So one more tip, with the Arctic char, Arctic char don't typically have scales. They have, actually they have scales, but they're very small scales. So I just spend a lot of time just getting the slime off. You know, they have a lot of slime on them, as you can see. And all you have to do is just take your knife and just get that slime off. That way this skin can be crispy as well. So it's, once again, it's not a necessity to do this. It's just something that I like to do. Just a little bit, not much. And then of course rinse it off. And you can feel the slime not being on there anymore. Like this fish is totally able to be grabbed without sliding out your hand. So the next step in cleaning this fish is we're actually gonna gut it and we're gonna take the head off. So this right here is actually very easy. Um, if you're squeamish, I suggest you stop looking right now. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna start at the anus and we're gonna make our way up to the head. We're gonna take these guts out. Just rip them right on out. Sometimes this little piece right here, whatever it's called, needs to be cut. But you can just cut that right out. And then all you have left is the heart and a few other organs. And then all you're gonna wanna do is rinse it out. Once you rinse it out, you're gonna to wanna to take the bloodline, which is inside of the fish, and you're gonna to wanna to cut it down the middle and take either a fingernail or a spoon and just push that right on out. So once all the fish are cleaned out, as you can see, it's really starting to get clean. A little bit of more bloodline in there. We're gonna discard of the, of the guts.
take the washing board and rinse it off. And the last step is to just cut off the head. I like to keep the fin out of the way. You have to bear with me, I'm using my pocket knife. Which obviously is not that sharp. But now we have a perfect clean trout. And the extra parts just rip them off. Perfectly clean trout. And I'll show you what to do next. All right, step number whatever it is. I don't know what step it is. Um, but after we've properly scaled the fish and after we have uh, gutted them and cut their heads off, the next thing I'm gonna do for this recipe is I'm gonna cut the fish into portions. So I'm gonna start off with this amount of fish and I'll probably cut this one into three portions. So I'll start right here, cut right through. That's one portion. And then I'll cut right through, and that's another portion. So all we're doing is portioning up the fish. The reason I'm portioning it up is because I'm going to put it in a stir fry. So after I finish portioning the fish off, I will get back to you again. And if you notice, we have three different types of types of fish. This right here is the Jack King I'm cutting up. I cut up two rainbows, and now I'm cutting up a char. Each one of them, you'll be able to taste the difference when it's time to eat them. So it'll be interesting to know out of these three fish, which one tastes the best. So I've got two more fish to portion up. Just small chunks, I'll probably have to do two batches because six fish is a lot for for three people um, but it's going to be delicious it's absolutely going to be delicious so now that i have all of my fish portioned up that's what it looks like all right so i'm only going to season the fish with two things we're going to use garlic salt and we're gonna use black pepper. So I'm gonna give an even coating to all the fish with both seasonings. So I'm gonna do the front, season it nice and well. And then I'm gonna flip the, the fish over and do the same thing. I'll be back with you guys in a second. Now, typically what you would do is you would put this seasoning in a bag and then you would throw the fish in the bag and shake it all around. But I don't have a bag. So the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to pour the seasoning over the top of the fish and shake it up. So we're gonna coat it. As evenly as possible. Once I finish coating it, we'll be moving on to the next step. Now that the oil is heated and ready to go, we're gonna start dropping fish in. There's one piece. There's two piece, three, four, five, six. 
We'll put one more piece in there. All right. So once this is all done and cooking, I'll let you see what it looks like. All right, so the first batch is almost done. I like mine cooked a little uh, crispier. So it may look burnt, but it's actually not. It's gonna be delicious. And this is the final product for the fish fry, nice and hard. It's gonna be delicious with the bok choy, which you're about to start making right now. We got our bok choy almost done. Perfect with the fish. There we go. Bok choy and fish. Ready to eat. Let's go see what our taste tester says. Y'all are gonna have to excuse all the mess in the background. That's what happens when you become parents. Oh my god. Alright, so Kimberly's gonna be our taste tester. Let us know what you think. Are you going to start off with the bok choy or the fish? The fish? I can't have both. Crispy. Really good. Tastes good? All right, what about the bok choy? That's the best? I figured. <laughs> well, guys, thanks for watching another episode. I hope you enjoyed our catch and cook. Please do us a favor and like, comment, and subscribe. And let us know what you want to see in the next videos. Thank you for watching.